Ovulation is the release of a white egg or ovum by the ovary during the menstrual cycle. There are hundreds of thousands of follicles inside the ovary. Each follicle is a hollow ball of cells containing an immature egg. I've been here in this ball for so long. I can't wait for the cycle to start so I will be able to start my journey as well. On the first day of menstrual bleeding, the typical day menstrual cycle begins. Several follicles begin to grow at the same time during the first seven days of the cycle. These maturing follicles secrete estrogen hormone into the bloodstream in order to prepare the uterine lining for pregnancy. Except for one, all follicles stop growing and begin to regenerate around day seven. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe I'm starting to grow! I'm itching to burst out and swim! I can't wait till that day! This dominant follicle grows and feeds the developing egg inside. The follicle secretes a large amount of estrogen into the bloodstream around day 12. When estrogen enters the hypothalamus and pituitary gland in the brain, the interior or front part of the pituitary gland releases a massive amount of luteinizing hormone into the bloodstream. Around day 14, LH causes a sudden growth spurt into the follicle. Hello, world! My time has finally come and my journey begins here! Goodbye, follicle! Hello, fallopian tube! <laughs> Mabuhay, mademoiselle! I am Fimbre, a finger-like projection on the ends of the fallopian tubes closest to the ovaries, and I am responsible for collecting the recently expelled egg just like you. The pleasure is all yours. What else can I say then? Thank you. That's my job. You're all set. Where are we? And who is this? We are now moving on to your next stop from here, and this is Fallopian Tube. Hello? Hello? Is anyone else around? Welcome, mademoiselle. I am the one who can guide you around while you travel, just like a tour guide. One of the two lengthy narrow tubes that join the ovaries and uterus is me, and you can use my channels to get to your next destination. Nice! I'm going to warn you to resist any muscular contact and to calm down if you feel like you're being pushed so that you can reach your destination. Thanks for your help, Fallopian Tube. Welcome to your home for the next 12 to 24 hours, madam. The time allotted for you is for you to think about your next step. Think carefully, madam, for after 12 to 24 hours, the choice will determine your fate. Adios! What am I gonna do? I need to contemplate thoroughly. Hmm. The egg lives for 12 to 24 hours after ovulation, so it must be fertilized by male sperm at this time for a woman to become pregnant. If the egg is not fertilized, it dissolves and is shed along with a urine lining during menstruation. What will Madame Egg Cell decide? Once it releases its egg, the empty ovarian follicle develops into a new structure called the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum secretes the hormones estrogen and progesterone. I noticed that progesterone was being secreted these days because I felt more productive, lively, and active. I sense that I'm under temptation. Hmm. And I felt a peculiar urge. And I really want to be with my lover. But what if? The egg cell must decide whether she will be fertilized or shed along with a uterine lining during menstruation. Miss Ma'am, the clock is ticking. You must choose. Our master's fate is entirely in your hands. So choose wisely. Wait, I can't figure this out, uterus. Please give me a moment to think. What would happen to me if I choose not to be fertilized? And what would happen to me if I choose to undergo fertilization? I'll get pimples if I choose a door that I can get fertilized through. Oh no, I'll also experience some unpleasant physical and emotional sensations. The worst part is that I'm going to drown and pass away. 
if you ovulate and a sperm cell doesn't successfully fertilize the egg, the egg will simply move down to the fallopian tube, through the uterus, and out through the vagina. About two weeks after the uterine lining sheds, menstruation starts. If I choose to be fertilized, I'll be with my lover. Which is great because I miss him and I won't wash away and perish. Finally, I'll emerge from here endowed with my master reproductive system. A pregnancy starts with fertilization, when a woman's egg joins with a man's sperm. Fertilization usually takes place in a fallopian tube that links an ovary to the uterus. If the fertilized egg successfully travels down the fallopian tube and implants in the uterus, an embryo starts growing. It's time, mademoiselle. You need to choose. I choose to be... The struggle of one sperm to fertilize an egg and create a new human life is the epic tale of fertilization. It is all of our stories. Hey, you guys wanna race? You bet. I'm in. Join us, S5. Welcome, KJ, dude. Okay. The five sperm began to race. Unaware that the passageway that they were about to travel through was extremely thin and wet. <laughs> Guys, are you okay back there? Yep, just give me a sec, and I'm going to beat you up. Whoa, whoa, chill guys, it's not over until it's over. <laughs> <sighs> Guys, can we pause for a while? I'm kind of breathless. Guys, I think I can't take this anymore. My asthma is killing me. Help! Help! <sighs> Considering how far away they are from him right now, they did not hear the help of sperm number one. They continued racing after losing one friend instead of stopping, since they did not want to lose to the other competitors. They were moving quickly and were unaware that they were separated. Yes, I'm not in first place and I'm confident that I will succeed in this game. <laughs> Little did he know that he had entered the unfertilized egg's housing cavity rather than the fallopian tube. When he realized that he is on the wrong side, he is unable to turn around since he doesn't know how to go back and is now stuck in a room. Oh, guys? Can you hear me? I'm kinda stuck here! Hello? Help me! Minutes later, sperm number two died because of fear of confined or enclosed spaces. There were just the three remaining. Nobody wants to lose, not even one of them. They're together and in the same rank as the rest of the field in the race. Now, they came upon a place of what we now know as cilia, or a hair-like structure. They did not know exactly where the right pathway to the finish line was. I think that is the right way. Nah, dude. That is the right pathway. It's up to you if you believe me or not. Let's ask sperm number five, dude. Where do you want to go? That way or this way? I'm not sure. Let's separate then. Why am I coming back again? I believe I have been here before. Oh my god, I think I am lost. Sperm number three is lost, and all he can see are the tall, hair-like structures. He may not be even aware of its direction. He is in panic and is unsure of what to do. Sperm number three died as a result of suffocation. Only two sperm remained, competing to see who could be the fastest and strongest of all. To receive the prize that they all desired, each of them wants to be the winner. That's where things start to become interesting and intense. Sperm number four wanted to win, therefore the energy he received let him accelerate so that he can outrun sperm number five. <laughs> All along, I knew that I would win this race. Just one last boost. <sighs> Calm down. Focus and relax. Just enjoy the race. Mindset ba? Yes! I made it! Woo! Yeah! Haha! <laughs> loser! Loser! Bleh. 
Hi, sir. Can I check something? Uh, sure. Uh, sir? You didn't bring your ID, sir. Uh, what about it, sir? Kasi po, if you don't have an ID, you can't enter the premises. Shucks, no! No, just please let me in. I tried so hard. I ran so hard to just get here. Oh my god, just let me in, please, guard. Please. Just present your ID and we're good. Are you okay? What happened? Congratulations. Huh? I didn't understand you. I said congratulations. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Because I forgot to bring my ID. Thanks? After the guard allowed him to enter the gate, he heard something. Congratulations, sperm number five. Who are you? I am the reproductive system. And I am the one who writes what's gonna happen to this place, because I am the owner of this land. I already knew that you would win this game before you even arrived. Uh, so what's my price then? The price you get is having a life. You have the price for being a good sperm. You will be successful someday if you work hard, like what you have done here, and don't let anyone become a hindrance for what you wanted to do. Be yourself and be thankful for your life. Enjoy.